What's going on everyone? Chana D, your Techno Dad here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the difference between balanced and unbalanced cables and what they do and which one's better. And we're going to get into it right after the jump. Alright everyone, so I don't get asked this question quite a lot, but since in the previous video of the Panasonic UB9000, we did have a pair of balanced and unbalanced audio outputs, and Jim asked the question, so here you go Jim and everybody else that wanted to know the answer. So basically there's two types of cables. Now in the home audio and consumer audio space, the majority of unbalanced cables everybody's been working with and everybody knows is the RCA cable. Now in the music world, there is another very common unbalanced connector and that is a TS quarter inch cable, which is basically a guitar or patch cable. All unbalanced cable have two wires in them. One is sending the signal and the other is the ground. If we look at the RCA cable, the tip of the connector here is the part that carries the signal and this part that's kind of like the sleeve is the ground. If we look at the TS quarter inch connector, it's the same concept, the tip carries the signal, the sleeve is the ground. You guys know how much I love making slides, so I went ahead and made some slides to illustrate exactly what's going on when a signal passes through the cable. So here we have a source and a destination. I just labeled them preamp processor and amplifier just to make things simple. So if we're using an unbalanced cable and we connect it up, we have the two cables inside. One is carrying the signal and one is the ground. Now what happens when the signal is going from one end of the cable to the other is that it acts as an antenna and picks up interference or what we like to call noise. And when it gets to the destination, you get a combination of signal and noise. Now the ground on the unbalanced cable is supposed to shield the cable from noise and interference. However, it doesn't do such a great job, especially after about 15 or 20 feet. So that's what unbalanced cables are and that's how they operate. Let's move on to balanced cables. Now, first thing that you want to know is that they carry three cables inside of them. Two signal cables and a ground cable. Most of the time in the home audio space, you're gonna be working with XLR cable. Now there is another one, it's called TRS, very similar to the TS that I spoke about before. It is also a quarter inch connector, mostly used in music studios. All right, so we have the same setup here, a source and a destination. So first, the two signal cables have the same information on them. They're in phase and you can hear them. One of the signal cables actually flips polarity and now the audio is out of phase, meaning you actually can't hear it because it's canceling each other out. As the signal moves along the cable, we still get that antenna effect, so we still get that noise or interference coming into the cable. Now in this case, it's coming into both signal wires. Once the signal and the noise make their way down to the destination, something interesting happens. The cable that flipped its polarity at the beginning of the audio's journey from one end to the other flips polarity again. So now the signal is in phase and you can hear it. And since noise was picked up on both signal wires, the polarity of the noise in one cable gets flipped so now the noise is being canceled out because it's out of phase and you can't hear it. So what you're getting at the end is the signal without the noise, or at least with less noise than you would with an unbalanced cable. This is really cool and that's why you'll see mostly unbalanced XLR connections on the back of high-end amplifiers and of course preamp and processors because that's what they want to do. They want to take out as much noise as possible so you guys are getting the best signal and the cleanest signal possible. All right, that wasn't too confusing, was it? Let's wrap it up, shall we? Unbalanced cables have two wires in them, a signal wire and a ground wire. And they're good and they'll work up to a certain point. 15 feet or longer will introduce more interference and noise due to it being an unbalanced cable. Balanced cables, on the other hand, have three wires in them two signal wires and a ground wire. And due to the flipping of polarities, they um, actually reduce the interference and noise of a signal passing through. So which one's better? Obviously, the balance cables are better, but not all home audio equipment uses them. For instance, the AV receivers most of us have do not have balance connectors. However, um, higher end preamp processors definitely do. That also goes for amplifiers as well. Some of the lower end ones just have the unbalanced RCA connectors and the higher end ones have both 
balanced and unbalanced connectors. Well, I hope you guys learned something today. It was great making this video and helping you guys out and answering the questions out there. If you guys have any more questions for me, please leave them down in the comments below or hit me up on whichever social media platform you like to use. That's pretty much it for this video. Go ahead, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I am your techno dad and I'll see you next time. Thank you